Hi guys, this is Pete, N6QW, and uh, I wanted to share with you some further development of using the Raspberry Pi 2 uh, with uh, Quisk, which is the SDR software uh, from uh, James Alstrom. Um, right now I have a very interesting configuration that I wanted to share with you. In the last video I went over the uh, SoftRock V63, which is this uh, little box right here. It's the StarTech 7.1 uh, sound card, external sound card. And uh, here is a, uh, a Raspberry Pi 2, a slightly, uh, this is a different model than was, was, the one, was in the earlier video. And uh, we have the Logitech speaker systems back here. And something new is a, a Motorola Atrix 4G, what they call a lap dock. It's a laptop dock for one of their 4G phones and it has an HDMI input and also has a USB input so it's possible to use this Motorola Atrix uh, lap dock as part of the display and the keyboard and the mouse for the Raspberry Pi and right now we have uh, Quisk uh, operating on here and this is the signal right here. Like that. It's, it's amazing. She'll yeah, years amazing. Later to the, you the could actually turn detail. this into a, a mini laptop computer, but right now it's operating the Raspberry Pi 2 here, StarTech 7.1 external sound card, V63, um, SDR soft rock transceiver, Logitech speakers. This is the USB to I2C converter board. So it takes the uh, USB signals out of the Pi and converts them to I2C signals to change the frequency and do other control functions on the, uh, uh, on the soft rock. Uh, a little power supply here. I am powering, uh, interestingly enough, a, uh, in the instructions I saw how to do this uh, in the instructables, said that the uh, laptop uh, or the laptop could power the, the Pi I didn't find that to be so, so I have an external power supply on this, a, a 5 volt, uh, 2 amp power supply. And we have a, uh, we have the connections that uh, this goes to the USB to I2C, this is the sound card. This uh, uh, USB connector here goes uh, to the lap dock. And I have one spare here that I've got uh, <coughs> an IDMAX um, Wi-Fi. Uh, uh, dongle in there plugged in so we're all set to go uh, I'm amazed that the uh, quality is uh, quite excellent I, I should tell you this was a uh, this was a gift uh, from uh, Tom Hall AK2B uh, Tom <coughs> evidently had uh, an spare one of these units <coughs> excuse me and contacted me and said how'd you like to have one to play around with well let me tell you get yourself one of these lap docks because uh, this now makes it possible to take the uh, Raspberry Pi portable into the field and have a uh, SDR transceiver uh, battery powered. <coughs> quite, quite nice. So I'm kind of impressed. So you can hear how nice it sounds. Um, I'll change the, uh, the bandwidth. That's at 2.8 kilohertz. That's at 2 kilohertz now. So you can hear the, the background change. So uh, the filtering works pretty good. There's 2.2, 2.5, 2.8, 3 .0. So if you wanted to have one of those wide sounding SSB signals, you can. Two kilohertz. Very, very nice. Anyway, this is N6QW. This is a Raspberry Pi 2 operating with the uh, Motorola uh, Atrix 4G lap dock. And we got the uh, SoftRock V63 right here, the StarTech 7.1, Raspberry Pi 2. I do have a Raspberry Pi 3, uh, but I just wanted in this initial test, in, say, in case anything went wrong, and I smoked something, I didn't want to smoke the Raspberry Pi 3, so I've got, uh, actually this Pi 2 has uh, been through the wars, so it's uh, kind of my test, uh, test setup in the event that something goes wrong, I'll, uh, I'll be able to fix it. I do have an external amplifier on this, so I get about uh, 45 watts out, 
So uh, we've made a few contacts with it, and we're indeed uh, very delighted. But uh, this is a real fine, the Motorola Lapdock Atrix 4G. And uh, you have to buy some uh, special adapter connectors. There are two connectors that are the micro um, uh, males. One is the uh, micro male USB, and the other is a micro uh, male HDMI. So you have to get a, uh, an adapter uh, that will go from the uh, micro male to the micro female and then to your interface cables here so that the, you can plug the HDMI here on the Pi and also the USB here that uh, goes in there to control it. You can operate this without the USB uh, to the lap dock and just plug in the HDMI. Uh, the only thing is you'll have to supply an external keyboard and an external mouse. So with this uh, lap dock, it is possible to use the, the mouse and to use the keyboard. So that just eliminating that's one single USB cable. And then you have the HDMI cable here that connects there. So uh, again, this is Pete, N6QW. I'm kind of excited about uh, what can be done with the, uh, with the technology that's available to, to us today. And I have seen these uh, Motorola lap docks uh, available uh, on eBay and other sources. So uh, I'll say my seven threes and I uh, just wanted to share with you the uh, latest information with the Raspberry Pi Quisk uh, Softrock V63. I, uh, I have another transceiver here I want to try, uh, but uh, we need to do some assembly work on that. So I'll say my seven threes and be out. This is N6QW.